Hi everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. So um, tarot card of the day for January 15th, 2020, three cards came out. Um, so before I get, cause I, I try to shuffle the cards um, be, like a few times before I turn on the camera. So I, the same three cards kept shuffling even though I was, or kept popping out even though I was putting them back and I kept putting the two of wands back in upright but it kept coming out in the reverse. The king of wands, which could be a queen and then the four of, the four of wands. But also at the bottom of the deck, you got the five of pentacles. So um, it does look like maybe somebody's going to have nowhere to go. Somebody's going to have nowhere to stay and they want to stay with you possibly or you want to stay with somebody because you've got nowhere to stay or because you're having marital issues or romantic issues. <sighs> I feel like this person, whoever this is, whoever the needy part is, they may cause trouble. Maybe you're married and you can't have this person stay with you because it'll cause like somebody will, it'll be found out. Because also the King of Wands represents a married person, a married man, married woman. So this person could be a fire sign, a Sagittarius or Aries, lots of fire energy here, and then a little bit of pentacle energy here, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy. Um, this is also enchantment. So maybe some of you, you have a fire sign that's doing a love spell on you, or you're doing a love spell to get somebody to come towards you. Either way, somebody's trying to get back into your life. Um, I do see that there's possibly, I keep seeing somebody's married. So maybe some of you don't know somebody's married and you're like, you think that you're dealing with a single person, but they're not. So it's saying, be careful who you invite to your home. Be careful who you let live with you because possibly they could have tricks up their sleeves or drama. Um, let me just try to get some clarity on this. What is this about? As of January, for the, for the, for January 15th, 2020, the energy of January 15th, 2020. Why did, why are these cards the world? Okay. Three of swords in the reverse, the page of swords. Oh, okay. Wow. And then we got the, now we have the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, guys, this may not be for everybody, but here's what's up. So maybe there's going to be some trouble because maybe a married person is enchanted with you. Maybe a, a woman or a man. Um, I feel like they might leave their happy home behind to come be with you to not for it not to be a third party anymore. They may be cutting off like a long-term relationship to be with somebody that they just met or they may be getting, you know, telling their, their partner like, Hey, I don't want to be with you anymore. I'm sorry. I, I can't live in a loveless marriage or I found a bigger, better deal. Whether it is a bigger, better deal, who's to say, but it looks like somebody, somebody doesn't want to be in a third party situation anymore. They want to just move on with whoever they're going with. They want to give like a real cup of love here. Wow. I also feel like, and then with the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck, maybe somebody's intuitive and they knew that somebody was married or they're intuitive and they, maybe the, the other part of the, the married couple was like, I know you're going to leave me anyway. So let's just start the divorce proceedings, but there's intuition at play here, but there, there could be a cancer Pisces or a Scorpio man or woman involved. I also feel like somebody may be lurking outside your house to make sure you're not in a three party, but here's the thing. Somebody may be lurking outside because they want to know if you're, if you're seeing somebody else but they're seeing somebody else. So it's kind of like, you gotta be fair. If you're married or if you got 10, if you're, if you're juggling 10 people, what do you care what I do? It's that kind of an energy. So I feel like somebody's like, they're not being fair. But I do feel like it looks like somebody is gonna drop everybody so that it'll, it won't be a third party anymore. I feel like somebody's trying to get in somebody's good graces as well. But this page of swords is always watching, watching, stalking, watching. Maybe somebody's got to travel a ways to get to you. Maybe they're in a different vehicle than they normally are. I just heard a really loud car outside. Um, I feel like maybe somebody, if they do have a loud car or if their car makes like a strange noise, usually, or you can hear the vehicle, they may be purposely borrowing a vehicle or driving a vehicle that doesn't make that much noise so you don't, so you're not alerted, so you're not startled. Also, somebody's lying about where they are. They're, they're saying, oh, I'm out of town right now, but really they're outside your house or something of that nature. Yikes. There's a lot of excuses being made here. Also with this King of Cups, I feel like, you know, somebody's gonna try a little bit more to try to be with you, but by March, they're not gonna try anymore. So somebody's gonna get a divorce or somebody's gonna leave the, you know, all the different people behind. But it's like, if somebody doesn't see the results that they want, this could be three weeks. So this could be three days, three weeks, three months, or in March, 
I got, for some of you, it's definitely March. For some of you, it's, it's in the next three weeks or it's on the 21st of, Ju of January, 2020, that these people are gonna make their, their choices. Um, I don't see communicating the truth. I see sort of like, all you need to know is I'm single. So just nobody, nobody apologizing for what they did. None of that. It's just like, well, here I am. I'm here, aren't I? It's that energy. All right, guys, be safe out there. That was your tarot card of the day for January 15th, 2020. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, um, pendulums for divination and prophecy. I also have a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. This is something different. This is something that will be on the website every day from now on, on jamiezebra23.com. Also, um... The reading special is still going on for a few more hours on jamiezebra23.com. Um, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Also, we got these two cards that just came out, the Ace of Swords and the Judgment. So maybe, remember how I said nobody's going to apologize, nobody's going to say anything for themselves? I'm wrong. They, they just popped this out. This means that there will be communication and the person has a change of heart. So they will be telling you, you know what, maybe I did make mistakes. Maybe I did do all these wrong things. Maybe it was my fault. So somebody is trying to get back together with you. This may be in that situation I spoke of, or this could be something new for somebody else. But somebody definitely wants to get back together. Somebody definitely wants to communicate and figure things out with you. All right, guys, jamiezebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.